Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here again, and this is part two of the React Notes project uh, that I'm building out. So we'll just be picking up where we left off. So uh, I'm here in the uh, app.js file, and uh, I created the notes context.provider, passed in uh, this object with state and dispatch that we get from here, from that use reducer hook. And so uh, next thing I'll do is I'll start building out some components in the source a uh, folder, I'll create a components folder. And here I'll go ahead and add a uh, nav.js. So we're gonna import react from react. And then let's see, so we're gonna import react. So now I'll do an export default function nav and then we'll, we'll we'll return some markup let's see here and so in here we'll have a nav a div and we'll do react notes cool and in app.js i'll go ahead and import nav from components and nav so then we'll just go ahead and uh, pass the nav component, put that in there, take a look, and React Notes. So let's see, I think our CSS, let's see here. Uh, right, so we need to update our CSS. So let's go into our repo, go to app.css, highlight all of that. And then we will go to app.css, do that. And uh, again, this repo will be in the uh, show notes if you guys want to have the same styles as me. So then we'll do uh, index.css. And we should be good. Let's go to index. <clears throat> All right, we'll save it. All right, cool. So that's what we want it how we want it to look and let's, let's delete that okay cool all right so then now that we have the uh, nav uh, the next thing I want to add would be let's see I'll do the add uh, note component so this will just be the input with that add note button we'll call it add note from components and add note. <clears throat> add note, there we go. So we have add note there. And uh, let's see, so we'll create our component add note, call it add note.js. Import React from React. So for these components, right now I'm just uh, creating the markup for it. So we'll do default function, add notes, and then uh, we'll do return. It'll have a div with a class of notes form. <clears throat> And then it'll have a input, or I'm sorry, it'll be a form tag. And then in the form tag, we'll have an input. Give it a button. That will be add note. There we go. So we have add note. App.js, add note is there. Let's see what we got. That looks uh, correct. All right. Uh, next, we'll also create our note list component. So note list will be a component that renders out a list of note components. So we'll have note list, have note list in there. And then in here, we'll add a note list.js. Again, we'll be importing React from 
react. All right. So then, <clears throat> so in this component, uh, I'll introduce, uh, we're going to be making use of uh, use context because we need to uh, go into our state and grab the notes array and render, and for each uh, note object in that notes array, we want to create a note component. So then, um, in here, I'll actually do uh, use context. So we're going to grab that. Also, import notes context from context and export default function note list and um, so in here I will do a use context pass in the notes context notes context and we're going to destructure out state Turn some markup, and uh, this state is coming from over here. So if we look at our context, no context provider, we have this object that we're passing in. So that's where that state is coming from that we're destructuring out. It's from this, which comes from right here from the user reducer. Okay, and let's see. <clears throat> So then now we want to go ahead and add a div, call it notes container. So now we're going to go into our state, going to grab the notes dot map, and then we'll do notes I. So we're going to map through the notes array. We're going to return a note component. That note component will have a uh, prop called note. And here in that prop, we'll pass this note, which is the note object that we're iterating through. So it'll be this uh, this object or these individual objects for, for every note. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, that'll be a key. Give it a key of I. All right, cool. So that looks good so far. We also don't want to forget to import note from note. Okay, cool. So then we'll import, or I'm sorry, we're going to add a note JS file inside the notes, or I'm sorry, the components folder. So we'll do import notes, or I'm sorry, import react from react. All right. Okay, so then uh, we'll do again export default uh, notes. And this is going to be a function. <clears throat> we will return some. JSX here, and this will have a class of note, a div with a class of note. We're gonna add a p tag. So this will be, so this note component will uh, basically be, uh, sorry, let's, so it'll basically be this. So uh, we're gonna have, add some text and some buttons here. So in here, in this p tag, we want to, um, well, I'm sorry, we need to, grab from props, so we'll grab note from the props. And then we'll do a note.text. And then um, we'll do another div with btn container. And then in here, we'll give it a button, well, button.edit with a class of edit, button.delete. This will have a button with a class of delete. And that looks good. All right, uh, let's see. So I think we're good there. Let's 
So this isn't the one we want. All right, so all right, so this is the uh, current app that we've gotten so far. So we have our note, uh, add note component. We have the individual notes being rendered out. These don't work yet. They're not wired up. Uh, but yeah, so that all looks uh, good so far. Uh, let's see. I think what we can do next, um, I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to set up wire up this uh, edit button so what I want to do is whenever we click edit I want to um, fire off a uh, action and I want to update the state so that based off whatever note we click on whatever note uh, edit button we click on we want to set that current note equal to that note that we clicked on or that note edit button that we clicked on but um, yeah so what we want to do then is for that, let's see. So in here, we want to do use context, import notes context from context, save that. And we're going to add a uh, in here. We're going to do use context, pass in notes context. We're going to destructure out our dispatch. So dispatch, and remember dispatch is coming from here and, or I'm sorry, from right here. So in the provider, we pass an object with these two properties. So we're just grabbing that dispatch, which, which comes from the use reducer. So then um, let's go back to note. So we have dispatch, cool. And now we want to uh, go into the edit button and we'll do a on click and we're gonna pass in a function. We're gonna then uh, invoke the dispatch method and this method will uh, contain an, or we'll pass in an object so this will be the uh, the action that we're going to fire off. So we're going to pass an object there, and this object will give it two properties. The first one will be type. So this will be the type of action, and we'll just call it uh, set current note, and then the uh, payload will be note. So we'll pass in the uh, actual note object as the payload okay so the last thing we need to do is go into reducer and uh, we need to set that case up so we'll do a case of I think it was yeah so set current note and then so in set current note we are going to then go ahead and do a See, basically return an object. Let's see here. And then we'll do a state, spread out the state. And what we want to update is the, uh, oops, no, we want to update the current note and set that equal to the action dot payload. So then, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we're returning an object, we're spreading out the uh, current state, and then here we're going to uh, pass what we want to update in that state. So we're going to do current note, and we want to update current the current note property with the action that payload, and that payload would be uh, what we passed in here, which is the actual note object. All right, so then in our app, uh, I'll just console.log the state so we can go ahead and see what we have so currently that state is current note null notes array three that looks correct and if I edit here current note is now is an object with these properties so current note ID 2 take out trash All right so we know our current note is now uh, being updated so that looks good let's see here so um, 
I think that's a, a good stopping point uh, here. So we wired up our, uh, we created some of the components and in some of those components, we made use of the uh, use context to grab the state in order to render out some components. And we also created our first uh, dispatch or action to update the state using our um, using use reducer along with our reducer function here. So we did all that, so that looks good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day.